Hey guys, I'm usually behind the camera, I'm in front of it today. But today is Halloween night, we've had a few trick-or-treaters come by, asking for candy, and asking to see our robot. Speaking of our robot, these past two weeks we have mounted the Samantha, the Samantha module, uh, improved our lift, and created our new trough that will hold the balls as we lift them to the top of the tubes. Today we have also been testing the robot. Uh, running balls through it, making sure nothing gets caught up anywhere that we can't fix, and making sure we're not going to run anything, run into any problems at competition. Uh, behind you is Keenan. We've been Keenan right now is working on another alternative way to get balls from the ground into the tubes. It doesn't look like anything, but there's a few prototypes lying around somewhere, and we've been working on those for the past two or four weeks. We won't have them this qualifier, but we might have them the next one. And they'll be exciting to look forward to. Have faith, Michael. I do have faith. They'll be ready tomorrow. <laughs> Good luck with that. This is a catapult. It's kind of a new design we're working on. The idea is it's spring-loaded, so you bring it down, and then it goes up really fast. Nowhere that big, though. Yeah, it is, it's going to be shrunk down to about three inches so it only fits one ball. Uh, we're using two roughly eight pound springs, so launches big one of the balls about eh, eight to ten feet high. So should be fun. It'll be nice to get working. This is not my hat, by the way. It's the new motor that came out that came with an encoder pre-installed. It's really awesome except for the fact that it did not come with the necessary encoder wire. So 